Uh, Aaron McMahon he, uh, covers the Michigan Wolverines for the Ann Arbor News and MLive.com. And we got drama this week. At least it feels like that, Aaron. There's normally drama leading up to Ohio State in Michigan. And I got so many questions here. As of right now, is Michigan practicing? They are. Yeah, they started limited workouts on Monday. Uh, they're expected to do the same today. Um, but the, the chances of the game happening still, I, I'd say 50-50 at this point. Why is that? Uh, a combination of things. I mean, Michigan was a banged up team before they hit the COVID outbreak last week. Uh, and then, and then they lost, they're expected to lose anywhere between 12 to 14 guys from coronavirus. And then it still remains unclear how many guys have been um, out because of contract contact tracing. So Michigan's a, um, you know, they're a depleted t- roster at this point, depleted team. They may not have their starting quarterback, Cade McNamara, either Saturday. Uh, so there's, there's just a lot of uncertainty around this program at this point. Who would make the decision to play or not to play? Uh, Michigan said it's on their, their doctors. Uh, they've, t- they've taken a pretty cautious approach to this whole thing uh, from, from the get-go. Um, you know, they've been following Big Ten protocols. Um, but it, it's unclear at this point, too, how many, how many positive players they've had. You know, we've got, we got a department-wide number on last week on Friday, but Michigan's football program hasn't specifically said. So we're, we're still unsure. Um, but Michigan has said it, they, they've left the decision in the hands of their doctors and medical personnel. Any word from Jim Harbaugh in the last 24 hours? No, he was expected to talk to us today at noon. Uh, that has since been canceled here in the last 10 minutes. Uh, so that's that's not good news if you're looking, if you're anticipating a game on Saturday, because we thought maybe that Michigan getting back in, into, into workouts on Monday was a step toward them playing. Uh, while, they're, while they are going to continue workouts today, uh, they're still going to remain limited. And what, my understanding is that that's just helmets and, and not pads. Separate fact from fiction, if you can, because there was a report over the weekend that maybe Harbaugh was looking towards the NFL. And then uh, I I saw a report uh, that maybe uh, Michigan's looking at extending Jim Harbaugh's contract here. Where do we stand with the future of Jim Harbaugh? Yeah, the contract extension is no surprise. I mean, Jim Harbaugh, even before the season, told us that there were discussions between him and Michigan's athletic director, Warren Manuel, uh, about an extension. Uh, they were tabled, that he said, because of the coronavirus concerns and the athletic department's finances. Uh, so that's not a huge surprise, um, but it certainly it, it's a different situation now. Now that Michigan's off to a two and four start, there's a lot of questions swirling. Two and six start, excuse me. A lot of questions swirling about his, his you know, his status and whatnot. Um, but it's 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 a it's an interesting pr- predicament here because I think at the end of the day, and I've said this before, Michigan, I don't think is interested in firing Jim Harbaugh. Uh, you know, they, they, there's too much respect there. He's had he's had he's provided stability to this Michigan football program, and I think they like that. Um, but you know, in regards to success, I you know I think most folks would agree that Michigan uh, hasn't hasn't gotten them over the hump. They haven't reached the, the pinnacle of the Big Ten. They haven't gotten the playoff, and I think that that, that irks some folks. Uh, so it, it does sound like Michigan has extended a contract extension to Harbaugh. I would not be surprised if it's four fewer years and less money than he was making before. Um, but I, I don't think Michigan is ready to walk away from Jim just yet. Well, Michigan might not be willing, but what about that fan base? What about the boosters, the alumni? It, it's yeah, it's starting to grow. There, there has been some more you know criticism, especially the last few weeks, given Michigan's start to this season. Um, and, and I wouldn't say that was the case as, as much before the season started. Um, you still had a you know, large faction of folks that were happy with Jim Harbaugh and the job he had done. Because you got to remember, I mean, Michigan's program has by and large been relatively clean. They've been, you know, the, the negative headlines have not been there. Um, the stability has been there. They've won enough games. Remember, Jim Harbaugh, you know, while he hasn't gotten Michigan to the Big Ten championship, he's won about 70 percent of his games. He's coached. Uh, so they win more than they lose. Um, so yeah, there is, there was a growing faction that, that liked him and still wanted him there. And I still, I still, I still believe that Michigan um, by and large, uh, is happy with the job he's done, but yeah, the fan base and, and the boosters are starting to grow, um, you know, frustrated. I think at the lack of lack of results. If I said to the fan base, Michigan plays Ohio state or Michigan does not play Ohio state. What do you think the fan base would vote for? Yeah, I'll go off based off my emails and what I've seen, I've gotten on social media. It, it seems like the majority of the fan base does not want to play Saturday's game because of the, the fear of what could happen. And when I say that, I mean them getting blown out to epic proportions. And it's it's not out of the you know the, the realm of possibility. In the last few years, Michigan, who has a, arguably you know a better team than they have this year, uh, they, they they struggled. Uh, and going in there this 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 you know this year, uh, perhaps with down their third string quarterback. 
Uh, I don't think the expectations are, are for you know them to, to keep it close. So the fan base, I don't think wants Saturday's game to happen. Uh, they're, they're ready for the season to, theoretically to, to end, and then kind of. But I think there's the clarity desired there too. They, they want to know what's going to go happen with Jim Harbaugh, whether he stays or whether he goes. Um, and I think that's what's made this this week so interesting. But also, you could ruin Ohio State's season in qualifying for the Big Ten unless it feels like the Big Ten is going to do whatever they can to crown. Ohio State, a Big Ten champ or, you know, whatever it is so they can, you know, qualify for the playoffs or whatever is going to be, you know, added to this. But could you see Michigan, could could you see Michigan opting to do that where we don't play them, therefore we can't get blown out and we could do some damage to Ohio State in the Big Ten race? I, I think the first two things are valid. I, I don't know if there's an inkling behind the scenes, at least within the program to, you know, "Quote unquote," destroy Ohio State season. Uh, I, I I don't from note from you know dealing with Jim Harbaugh the last couple of years and the way he operates. I, I don't think that's the case. I think I think generally, if you ask Jim Harbaugh, I think he'd want to play this game. Uh, he'd prefer to. Um, I know there's a desire to practice. You know, uh, last late last week and even play last weekend's game. Uh, but Michigan's medical doctors thought it thought otherwise. Uh, so I I don't know. It's, it's hard to address that just because yes, there, I think there's a segment of the fan base that would like that just because they haven't been able to beat them the last couple of years. Um, but I, I think to, to say that, you know, the, the folks inside the program necessarily want to destroy Ohio State's season, I think it would be inaccurate. And like you said, I think the Big Ten is ready to step in and, and make sure that, you know, Ohio State does play a sixth game or amends the rules entirely and lets them into the Big Ten title game next week, for, you know, having only played five games. Man, it's crazy. It is. It's crazy. And I don't believe for a second Jim Harbaugh doesn't want to play this game. Uh, he might deep down know that this could really, you know, it, this could be really embarrassing. But, I, you know, the competitor is – I've known Harbaugh 30 years. I just can't imagine – and his dad, I can't imagine that he would go, you know what, let's take the easy way out and not play. That doesn't mean they might not play this game due to COVID, but I don't think for a second that Harbaugh would allow that. Uh, should be a next uh, interesting next couple of days there for you, Aaron. We appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. No problem. Thanks, Dan. That's uh, Aaron McMahon, a Michigan football beat writer for the Ann Arbor News and MLive.com.